Uh, okay. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sure many of you have been joining our daily uh, video conferences. Um, and particularly for you in the media, I encourage you to join the 7.30, uh, which is primarily around communication. Uh, we are doing these uh, video conferences to minimize uh, the need for us to meet physically. So I encourage you, and I'm sure Dennis and Moshiri will give you the links. Uh, we also, I should uh, let you know, we have a daily 9 a.m. Um, video meeting, primarily uh, the two levels of government, uh, myself, the county commissioner, and our officers, uh, as we continue uh, to work on this issue. And at 3 p.m. also, there is generally another briefing, also on video. So I encourage you to join those. But uh, we've called you here to, be, to say a very simple point uh, to all of you and to Kenyans in general. Uh, for the reason that we see that too many of us are not taking this issue with the seriousness that it deserves. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it is not news to you. You know for fact that coronavirus is here. And the truth is that it is spreading. And it is spreading faster every day. Those are the truth. That is the honest to God truth. And the fact of the matter is that some people are going to die from this disease. Some of you listening to me now. may become victims of this disease. Maybe a few dozen will die. Maybe a few hundred will die. Maybe a few thousands will die. So it's up to you. You have a choice. You can decide whether you are going to be one of the victims who will die from it. You have a choice whether members of your family are going to be victims of this disease. You have a choice. Now, I know we all like to blame. You can blame government. You can blame your neighbor. You can blame your politicians or leaders, but the choice is yours. All that we are asking of you is to follow some simple steps. Stay at home. Stay at home. And save your life. And save the life of your children. And your family. Stay at home. Now, you may choose to insult government. You may choose to blame whoever you want to blame. The coronavirus does not care. It doesn't. The coronavirus does not care. So you can go on social media and blame whoever you want to blame. But I can tell you this, the virus does not care. So the choice is yours. Follow the simple instructions that you're being given daily by the Ministry of Health. That is the surest way to combat this highly infectious disease. I should also tell you, uh, fellow Lycipians, that the law enforcement team will be very, very strict in enforcing the law.
I want to repeat, the law enforcement team are going to be extremely strict with you in your various market centers, in the various corners of towns. The Public Health Act is going to be enforced in the strictest terms possible. And I want to repeat to you, you have a choice. You can go on, go on uh, Twitter or WhatsApp and uh, insult whoever you want or complain or do whatever you want to say. The truth of the matter is that the virus does not care. And the only realistic way for you to minimize the possibility of you getting infected is social distance. So practice it. For us from the government side, we must enforce the law and we will be in the strictest possible terms. We must do the things that government must do to prepare for the eventuality that some of you are going to get sick. Some of you are already sick. So we are doing our work. So please, I want to plead with you as Kenyans, as Lycipians, for once, can you please think about yourself and your family and protect yourself? Can you please for once follow straightforward directions that you're being given by the Ministry of Health? Tafadhalini sana. Niseme kwa Kiswahili virusi vya corona ziko hapa Kenya zinaenea la wewe na mwenzako ndio mnazieneza virusi the virus does not spread by itself it is spread by human beings kwa hivyo tafadhalini wewe mwenyewe binafsi you have a choice Ufikirie, ujiulize kwa sababu watu watagonjeka na wamegonjeka na wengine pengine watakufa kwa ugonjwa huu wewe ujiulize wewe mwenyewe utakuwa baina ya hao ama utachagua kujikinga na kukinga familia yako jinsi ya kujikinga ni ipi tafadhali kaa nyumbani vile umeelezwa maagizo ya serikali kaa nyumbani tafadhali nawa mikono kwa kutumia sabuni tafadhali tumia sanitizer mambo matatu sasa wewe tafadhali usiwe wajifanya ndiye wajua zaidi kuliko dunia nzima india watu wanakaa nyumbani china watu wanakaa nyumbani italy watu wanakaa nyumbani na kwengineko wewe tafadhali mkenya mwenzangu mwana laikipia usijifanye wewe ndio wajua kuliko wengine wote zaidi ya dunia fuata maagizo ya serikali fuata maagizo ya wizara ya afya ma officers wetu wa police na vikosi vingine watatekeleza sheria ilivyo kwa hivyo wewe nawe uzilalamike ikiwa hufuati sheria vile inasema usije ukalalamika ati mbona officer wa, wa serikali wanatekeleza kazi zao juge na gekoyo gorimoyo wa corona virus urego kupururini na ni moyo wa mori moyo wa coronavirus nurathi na mbere na kuenea ogwakea urathi na speed inenane nego kirorera yanagaiga 
na uma ni uu mumenye adu wa Kenya ali ya mula adhikiriria kule adu maagu kuwa ni adu wa mula mwoyo maybe mila ugo higa nona maybe maga na maiga nona maybe yu wana makiri madu ni maagu kuwa ni adu wa mula mwoyo kwa uwa we ura adhikiriria we olie we uli muu Kenya uli muu doa like pia we olie ukweda kukoro Makoni makomine mashioka maga na mado alia mago di na muri moyo kano kweda kuigitera no gitera si anashiaku na family aku na dualia muri gani kuigitera niki rumiri rori ole ruo tafadali adwaito togi nyagi ati ogwakia odiye matukai ni odiye buroti ati mukari na adu togi nyagi ya iti kira oikare mushi Uikare hara haya na adwa igi uli ole eluo. Itikira. Ne ule. No ke. Akare. Uge hii diri kari dea kire. Kanangani ya dea kire. No umane uyo. Mulimo. Drago di kereja. Te uge nengani ya ote kire. Mulimo. Drago di kereja. Muri mo na oka, kwa guatu la kulia na gitayo kwenye nemo na wete kire, na tu itua we, kana ora dago koro haria haria ma gudi na muri moyo, kana ora dago koro haria haria ma kuhonoka, muri moyo, na kuhonoka, na honoki haria mwe nao, ni ndo wa kuru mirela, uri ora ruo na ministry ya health, togi nyagi ya umagare, ikaramuji. Kiki kuri ya tiriri we. E hii hii hii. No ukuruwa we. Ate no we. The ngima. Wazi China. Ado marai karamishi. Wazi India. Ado marai karamishi. Wazi Italy. Ado marai karamishi. Wazi mafurori marai maage Afrika. Ado marai karamishi. No ukuruwa we. No we muoge. Oku hotori ya murimoyo. Kwa goza hitha na gete yomu no. Etekera kurumiri lole 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 nedhiri kari. Gige tiliha. Officer azia ito wafirithi. Na ikosi hiria ige. Ne magu koruo. Make enforce. Wazo. Wa public health. Kwa uwa dago za hitha. Nawe. Nuka haye kuku nuku neka. Nereo kweru wa tigagwe kwao. Kana igera maria mutothie nawe. Tafadhali sana. Kwa muda hitha. Adwa itu, itikira iguika wega, nigeza kuhono kie ado kumamu limoyo. Nidhe gimono nigo dhikiriria. Pound Commissioner. Thank you very much, Your Excellency the Governor, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon. As you have heard from the Governor, we have been having a a series of meetings to address the issue of uh, the prevailing uh, epidemic in our country, that's the coronavirus uh, 19. Uh, so far, we have observed that our people uh, are not observing the guidelines which have been provided by the Minister of Health from the national government. And uh, as a follow up, we have decided that uh, the following measures should now be taken into force. Uh, that all our national government administrative officers and that this, uh, the police in each sub count, they must implement the guidelines which were provided by the Minister of Health accordingly without any favor or bias. Uh, and in that effect, we have said that uh, no gatherings, no assemblies will be allowed to take place anywhere within the county. We have stated that uh, uh, given those guidelines, uh, we have seen uh, kiosks which are operating and offering food openly those kiosks must be closed down immediately. 
the Miraa and the Mihuka uh, kiosks in town stands the sorrow. We are not going to allow Miraa or Mihuka uh, selling in town and any semblance of any assembly recruiting for those scouts in town will have to be dissolved. Secondly, we have agreed that uh, uh, given the guidelines, we must ensure that all our public transport vehicles must adhere to the guidelines which were given by the Minister of Heritage. That's for the Matatu, the 14th uh, passenger will have to carry eight passengers. The 33 passenger motor vehicles, especially the minibuses, will have to adhere to the regulations and carry 22 passengers. Uh, on top of that, we have to ensure that all the uh, bars, bars and the lodgings, the bars and the restaurants will remain closed. The restaurants will only over take away services, including the hotels. Any hotel operating in town will not over uh, food at a seated uh, uh, situation, but anybody buying food should be on takeaway basis. Again, we have agreed that uh, uh, coming uh, this weekend, all church services should be done either online, through the radio, or from home. The, the, the pastors, the priests should arrange to have their masses with their fellow uh, parishioners uh, from their various homes. But we should not allow an assembly or gathering within the county. Those were the guidelines which were given, and we must adhere to them. Secondly, uh, we have agreed that uh, all leaders should join us in this fight of the coronavirus. And by so doing, we need to encourage them to cooperate with all the national government officers in sensitizing Wanainchi to take precautionary measures not to allow anybody who has traveled in from outside the country to visit their homes without, first of all, having gone through the normal uh, tests and checks and uh, the isolation, the, the 14 days quarantine. So those ones must be observed. Our Nyumbakumi elders, the assistant chiefs and the uh, chiefs should mop up all the villagers to ensure that uh, uh, our people are safe and they observe the heritage uh, uh, guidelines which have been given by the minister. Uh, so far, we are aware there is no cure, there is no medicine to treat this uh, coronavirus uh, epidemic. It's only to observe the basic hygiene practices by washing the hands and also sanitizing. All our supermarkets and uh, retail outlets must provide the sanitizers and at the same time uh, provide water for washing the hands. For the border border operators, we have stated very clearly that border borders must also observe the high degree of uh, the guidelines which were given by providing the sanitizers as well as water at the picking points for washing the hands of their customers. Uh, and that they should not of, of, of overload. They must observe and assist us in ensuring that our people in Rikibia are safe from this uh, virus. The virus is actually spread through closer contact. So we must uh, observe the distance which were provided uh, to keep space uh, for people not to be seen to be so close so that we can avoid uh, catching up with this uh, virus. So we appreciate the members of the uh, media fraternity for actually uh, informing Wanainchi and continuing to enlighten us 
for now to 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 to, to be safe from this uh, dangerous epidemic kwa hivyo mimi ningawaomba tu wananchi wetu wa Laikibia tuendelee kufuatilia yale maagizo baya yamepewa na serikali na vile vile kuhakikisha ya kwamba uh, area yetu ya Laikibia eh, kila mmoja wetu ahakikisha uh, uh, ya kwamba anafuata yale masariti ambayo wizara ya afya kupitia wasiri wa afya uh, yale ambayo yamepeanwa kuhakikisha tunafuata na tufuate hiyo masariti yote ili tusije tukajipata katika hii hali ngumu ya hii uh, virusi vya coronavirus uh, vile 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 nimetangulia kusema uh, tume, tumeona kuna mapaa uh, wale uh, wafanyabiashara wengine ambao wanafungua milango ya nyuma na kuruhusu watu kuingia ndani ya hizo paa hizo paa tunaendelea kusikunguza na ile ambaye itapatikana anaruhusu hiyo maneno hiyo licenses itaondolewa ita, ita kilasini na mambo ya miraa tumesema mambo ya miraa kwa wakati huu hatutaruhusu katika uh, sehemu zetu za mijini uh, kwa sababu inachangia watu kusanyika uh, na kukaa pamoja kutavuna hiyo miraa kwa hivyo miraa na miguka tumepiga marufuku mpaka wakati serikali itakapo sema ya kwamba hii changamoto ya coronavirus imeisa na ningewaomba uh, kila mmoja wetu katika Laikibia tuangalie wageni ambao wanakuja kutoka sehemu za nje ya nchi e, tuchunguze kama kuna mgeni ambaye ametoka sehemu ya nje ya nchi na amekuja katikati yetu kuhakikisha ya kwamba huyu mgeni ameenda amekaguliwa katika vituo vya havia na afanye ile tunaita self isolation akae mbali na wananchi kwa muda wa siku 14 ndipo saanze kutangamana na wananchi kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu uh, tuko mbioni kila sehemu ya kaunti yetu each sub county kuhakikisha ya kwamba yale masarit ambayo yametolewa kila DCC kila chief kila assistant county commissioner na police waungane ili kuhakikisha ya kwamba hii mambo tunafuata yale masariti pia ilivyo bayano asanteni sana Yes. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as you know, uh, we are about seven, eight entry points into Laikipia by road. If you're coming from the Nyeri side, if you're coming from the Isiolomeru side, if you're coming from the Samburu side, if you're coming from Baringo, if you're coming from Nakuru, and again from Nyeri. So um, the, we have roadblocks. Uh, we have police officers as well as health officers. They have the infrared uh, um, thermometer so that we can take your temperature. It is the first level of screening. It is the same that we do uh, at other entry points uh, for when people travel from overseas. The basic point is to check your temperature. If you have an unusually high temperature, then of course you are an immediate case for attention to see what is causing that temperature. Uh, we are doing so to try and minimize. Because remember, people are traveling, for example, from Nairobi into, uh, people have traveled from overseas. Um, as a matter of fact, we have at least four cases where uh, uh, they have been uh, asked to be in quarantine, uh, but we have also prepared uh, a number of facilities where if a forced quarantine is necessary, uh, then we will be ready. But that is why we are screening. It is a simple temperature test. It helps to see uh, if you have. I want to warn you though, it is a, it is a sort of preliminary test. 
the fact that you may have normal temperature does not mean that you are not infected. And this is what we all need to know. When you get the virus, if you get it today, you can go for 14 days without exhibiting the symptom. And that is what is dangerous. Because in those 14 days, you are interacting with your friends and your family. And as you are interacting with them, you are infecting them. That is why those who have come from areas that are already infected, that is why it is so important for them uh, to serve quarantine and if necessary for uh, mandatory quarantine. And that is what is happening now with anybody who is coming into the country uh, through uh, JKIA or any of the other facilities. Yes. Okay, this one from the good side. Uh, no, no, no. We, we, we had, as you all know, in Nyahururu, we had a case uh, of somebody who reportedly had uh, traveled from outside the country, uh, and that person was then asked, uh, and, and the correct uh, protocols are being followed. There were two alleged cases on the eastern side, yeah, in Kenya uh, and elsewhere, of people who may have traveled, and then we are followed up uh, to see, did they travel, if so, from where, and so on. And again, the necessary protocols are going on. Again, I want to emphasize, that is why this question of staying at home, because in those 14 days, before you exhibit the symptoms, you will have interacted with hundreds of people. And every time we interact with someone, there is a possibility of infecting that person. So Tafadali Nisana, let us follow the Ministry of Health uh, guidelines. So thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate and we want to commend you as media for the effort. And you must continue to do more. You must really continue to do more to persuade Kenyans to do the right thing. And to know that, frankly, the virus does not care. So let us do away with this blame game. Let us do away with this mourning. Let us do the things that are expected of us. I thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, we have got the point of view. There are the same points. Uh, that we spoke to.